what's up everyone and happy monday i hope everyone is having a great day a beautiful day and a blessed day as always i hope that everyone had a wonderful mother's day as i did um yes i just really <clears throat> excuse me overall enjoyed my mother's day yesterday and listen i was gonna go outside and do a video but the way this heat is set up it's like i am over it like where is the spring like we have entered straight into summer and where i live at south carolina like i don't remember really remember the last time we actually had the spring and i'm over it because spring is like my favorite season because it is like the most perfect weather right it's not too hot and it's not too cold in the summer listen it's too hot we are already in summer so i'm over the heat but anyway let's go ahead and get to this message so that we can get right and stay right so my message today is to, well, my title for my message today is be available for God's redelivery. Be available for God's redelivery. And so, you know, it was the, how I got this message is like, you know, God can speak through anything, you know, and um, the reason how I got this message was because um, there was a letter delivered to me, um, supposedly, which they didn't come to my door. But anyway, they put the thing in my um, mailbox and said, well, sorry, sorry, we missed you and scheduled a re-delivery. So I had to go online and, you know, schedule my re-delivery. So I got to just, I feel like the Holy Spirit just said it in my spirit. Like, you know, the same way we had to schedule re-deliveries for things that, you know, were sent to us by whomever, you know, so that we can receive it. It's like sometimes, probably a lot of times more than a lot of people really realize is that there are some things that God has wanted to deliver us, but because we has, haven't made ourselves available, we've missed it. Because you haven't made yourself available, you've missed out on your blessings. You missed out on some answer prayers. You missed out on some healings. You missed out on some miracles. You just overall missed out on the power of God in your life because you have not made yourself available. And making yourself available, right, to receive the packages, the blessings that God, the gifts, right, that God wants to give to you, you have to make time for God, right? You have to make time to pray. You have to make time to spend in his presence. You have to make time overall to get to know him. And the thing about God is he knows our address, right? He knows exactly where we are at all times. But listen, God is not going to force any blessings upon you. He's not going to give you something if you're not available, right? If you're not ready to receive what it is that he wants, wants to give you. So therefore, this message is to a lot of people who have been not making themselves available and have been missing out on the wonderful things that God has want, has been wanting to give to you. So again, in order for you to not miss out on anything, I want you to start making time every day, right? No matter how small you have to start because you have to start somewhere. Just start making yourself available because Listen, I'm at a point in my life where I'm not trying to miss out on nothing that God has for me. So if I have to be by myself for a season, then I'm going to be by myself because it's, it's also, um, I feel like one of the main reasons why a lot of people may miss out on the blessings of God is because they don't want to be by themselves. They don't want to be isolated, right? They want to be where the crowd is. They want to be where the noise is. They want to be where the party is, right? So God can't really tell you anything if you're always surrounded by noise. You have to spend time in the quiet, right? You have to spend time away from people. You have to start saying no to going to certain places because why is something that you're trying to receive from God? You are trying to, you know get the gifts right that god wants to give you because he's not like you know man on um with the holiday well not just one holiday but you, you know christmas and birthdays right where people give you gifts no god will give you gifts all year around you can receive the blessings of god all year around but the question is are you available have you been good or have you been bad? As Santa Claus would ask you, ask the kids, you know, on Christmas, if you've been bad, you're not going to get anything. And that's how God is. God is not going to bless you. He's not going to gift you or gift to you anything if you have not been doing good. 
So also sit with yourself again, hint in the time, make yourself available to figure out what your actions have been looking like. Like what is the result of some of the actions that some of you guys, I mean, what is the result of some of the decisions that some of you guys have been making? And if your outcomes haven't been anything that is fulfilling or rewarding or beneficial or helpful or positive for you or for anybody around you, then it is time for you to switch that up and start, you know, reflecting so that you can change, right? The things and your behaviors and your habits that you have been doing for so long, because again, you want to make yourself available and prepared and ready for the things that you have been praying for. And another reference that I wanted to make is that is a one, one, um, way of God receiving and giving things to you is the things that you have been praying for. It's like, you know, when you get to order things on Amazon or wherever you order, um, packages from, you know, it's because you made the request, right? You put in the order yourself. And therefore there have been some of you who have been praying to God about so many different things. And you've been wondering why you haven't been receiving, right? The the prayers that you have been, have been um, praying to God for like things, nothing has been showing up. And again, you have to ask yourself, have I made myself available? Am I in a position to receive what it is that I have prayed for? Am I prepared for the things that I have prayed for? Because just because you ask yourself, or um, I mean, just because you ask God for something, doesn't mean you're ready to receive it. And I think that's why a lot of people kind of get confused there too with things they pray for. They're like mad at God because, you know, you haven't received nothing that you pray for. But the question you have to ask yourself is, am I really prepared for that? Are you prepared for it? Because sometimes some blessings, some things that you are praying for is so big that you have to actually spend the season preparing for it. Because God is not just going to deliver something to you that is that's, that is of too much of a value if he knows you're not ready for it. So again, this whole entire message is about making yourself available, making yourself ready and making yourself prepared for the things that you have praying for because once you make yourself available to the things that God has um the things that you have prayed to God for and the things that God wants to give you once you make yourself available then listen you will start to receive not just one time, like I said, all year round, abundantly, a God will begin to open up the windows of heaven and start pouring you out the blessings that you will not have room enough to receive, but you have to always be available. Listen, God knows your address. He knows your address. He knows the time. He knows everything, all the details, but you have to open up the door to let them in open up the door to receive open up your heart open up your hands to receive everything that he has for you so listen it is time to get right so that we never miss another package another gift another blessing another healing another miracle another answer prayer from god so I hope that this message has helped, has inspired, has touched, has blessed anyone and everyone who it has reached. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.